Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your uh, March mid monthly reading. It's a general read, so all the messages won't resonate with every Gemini. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment to the to the uh, video, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so I'm gonna do free form. Have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Uh, what's the energy for my Geminis? What's going on with Gemini? What are the messages for Gemini? What is it that Gemini needs to know, Lord? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. Messages for Gemini. Messages of love and light. Messages of guidance, correction. Messages to govern their lives, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for messages for Gemini. True, accurate messages for Gemini. Okay, what is this? All right, Ace of Water, King of Water. So there might be a new start in love. Oh, or someone wants a resurgence in love. I'm here with maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Way too many guys. So we're going to put those back. And uh, if they come out, which I'm pretty sure they will because it's like the half of the deck. Um, we'll keep going with it. Yeah. Uh, someone wants a resurgence in love or a new start in love. Or there is a new start in love with maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, let's see what's going on. All right. Three of Water. Yeah. Resurgence. Three of Water. You, you want to reconnect. Whether it's, you know, you guys may still live in the same home. You still may may talk to each other wow and then the but someone feels left out in the cold and then the five of earth flies out of the deck uh either this cancer pisces scorpio wants resurgence in love with you wants to rekindle the flame or um it's vice versa all right let's see Four of fire, all right? Relationship here. Five of fire, but there's argument, petty argument, either out, you know, with another, with your partner, there's competition, there's somebody else here. Um, there's indecision within yourself too. Six of water, yeah. Because maybe this relationship it, want, it involves children, or you feel like this is your soulmate. Wow. And then the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't even read reversals, but it, it came up in reverse. Most of the cards on my deck are not supposed to be reversed. And then the Love card, the Lovers, which is the Gemini card, um, comes out. So, uh, Will is not turning, possibly in your favor, or in, in the favor of of whatever it is that that you want for yourself in this this relationship it looks like it's due to the fact that there are other people five of our five of fire and the three of water there's some there might be someone else involved i'm gonna do another spread see what we can get for another set of gemini's so if you're dealing with a water sign or an earth sign, it looks like, um, I don't know if um, that's really going to come together in the manner that you want it to. The Wheel of Fortune uh, was in reverse for you. You know, it's like it, whatever is happening is being forced. It's not of, of natural causes. It's not natural. You know, someone is wanting all of these things, but it may be that it's not supposed to happen. All right. Thank you for the messages for Gemini. Messages of love. Messages of career and finance. Give us any messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini. True, accurate messages for Gemini. True, accurate accurate messages for Gemini. All right, Eight of Water. Some of you are or have emotionally checked out of a situation. 
six of earth maybe because it didn't reciprocate from the outside looking in maybe people were looking in on a situation your relationship business partnership whatever it may be your job relationship and they were saying wow that's great but you knew that this was not a, a partnership that reciprocated maybe you were putting in uh, too much um, and not getting enough all right three of fire yeah you're waiting for you're waiting for newness you're 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 okay with putting the old behind you the old and established behind you and looking out <clears throat> into the horizon excuse me uh, for newness queen of air and then you come up yeah you're looking out for newness the queen of air to me is always the gemini card uh king of sword and is typically uh either libra or aquarius all right ten of air yeah there were some betrayal feeling backstabbed either you did this Gemini or this was done to you someone's walking away because there isn't much reciprocity three of fire you could be dealing with a fire sign earth water we got it all here uh, and then the star that may be healing that comes after walking away after walking away from what was established or what you were trying to establish some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius directly uh, there could have been betrayal from you Gemini to an Aquarius now, let's see what is this about well, two more two more come out Queen of Water Nine of Earth um, yeah, it looks like um, some of you could be dealing with a cancer directly. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but Queen of Water is Cancer. Uh, Aquarius, another Gemini like yourself. Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We got it all here. Maybe even a fire sign. Gemini, either you gain awareness about betrayal and the lack thereof in a relationship. And then you're just going to decide to be single. Or this is vice versa. Someone else gained insight. Look, look at this woman on this card. Her eyes are closed. Her face is calm. It's peaceful. This is placid. She's, you know, she... This is just placid energy, you know, it's, it's calm. So she's receiving um, intuitively while healing with the star card. So yeah, somebody just knew that, or, or Gemini, you're dealing with a very intuitive person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be, could be Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or definitely an Aquarius. Um, yeah, they just knew that there was betrayal here. And they just chose to, to walk it alone or to leave you alone. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do one more spread. Hopefully it's something about some money. Um, it looks like everybody's walking away. You know? This is the three month, the third month, March Divinity. Three is Divinity Spirit. Everybody's getting that spiritual awakening. The spirit, the spring equinox, clearing, clear, and get ready for newness, brightness. All right. What are the messages for Gemini? What are the messages for Gemini? 
True, accurate messages for Gemini. What are messages for Gemini? Messenger of Earth. So we've got uh, the Knight of uh, Pentacles here, maybe a solid Earth sign coming in. Four, four of Earth. Um, this Earth sign could be very reserved. I'm hearing very um, holding on to something. The Emperor. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. And then the King of Fire. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries directly. If not an Aries, an Earth sign maybe with fire in their chart. This could be a Taurus too. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus directly. Um, they could be a business type person, an entrepreneur, a person that likes to do things on their own. Uh, is very passionate about what they do. They're going to get it done. They can organize the people to get it done for them. Uh, whatever it is that they're trying to get done. Uh, they may be trying to come at you and offer something stable, but they don't move quick. Uh, they also could be holding on, guarding their heart, I'm hearing. Uh, their finances too. Five of water. Somebody is grieving you know, still having the uh, emotions of the past, of what happened in the past, what went wrong in the past, to water. Still in grief, but at the same time, there is a successful nurturing relationship here. Ten of our wild, two of water, ten of earth. So whoever this is, you're dealing with Gemini, who is um, could be an earth sign or coming up as an earth sign or a fire sign. Uh, they need to let go of the past, live in the now, know that they're in a successful relationship, whether this is you or the other person, Gemini. They need to understand that success in relationship is here. Uh, building is here. Justice has been served for them uh, in in the sense of alright, I'm going to take these for water the moon and the magician. Alright. They need to uh, let go of the past. They aren't over their past or what happened in the past but justice has been served. They're in a relationship that could very well uh, be successful and reciprocate um, whatever is given on their behalf. It, it can be reciprocated. Four of water. It looks like this person's having a hard time taking to the relationship. And it is because the moon is here. There might be some secrets, some lies. There might be somebody just being downright manipulative. This could be you, Gemini. Five of Earth is here. Then the three of Earth. And then the Ace of Water. Ace of Cups. Lots of fire here. Uh, there's a lot of indecision. Someone wanting to just walk away. Waiting for new love. So if you're not dealing with a, a deceptive third party situation and you're dealing with someone who isn't completely over their past or what happened in the past and uh, they, um, they just can't move forward, all right? Let's get some, let's see if we can get one more, a different message with a different set of cards. So, yeah, that last word. Someone's, you know, the earth sign, uh, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They are not over their past. It still lingers with them. Um, they might even revisit it at times. Uh, they're in a successful relationship, possibly with you, Gemini. But this could be vice versa. Uh, but they have to really do away with the past energy understand that success and relationship and building with someone is here this could be you or your partner they need to um you know let go of of, of past uh so that you guys can have newness uh take to what the the universe is offering them with that four of water there 
Um, someone could be being a little deceptive too. The moon and the magician. Or someone's really trying to manifest, you know, that uh, a solid relationship. They're doing some some work behind the scenes. All right, Ace of Diamonds. Some of you engagement. Uh, moving in together, taking the relationship to the next level, um, starting a new business, a large purchase, purchase of a home, four of, right, four of diamonds, a uh, uh, large sum of money coming in, winning the lottery, ace of hearts, nice, um, what is flipped, ace of hearts, after betrayal, low energy, Sickness, three of heart, um, regret not saying things, and this is why you want reunion, maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, there was love here, but there was some betrayal here, and my, this is your energy, Gemini. With that spade, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Now you want reunion, maybe forgiveness. You regret not saying things, maybe with a fire sign. Uh, you could be having visitors in your home or be invited somewhere. Or you're just, maybe this fire sign completely just walked out. Or you, you left, Gemini. And you found the, the ultimate and the highest level of happiness with the Ten of Hearts here. Then there's you. Yeah. And then there's the two. So it's like, all right, so, and then the Jack of Spades. Some of you can be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have a decision to make. Do you stay or do you go? There can be newness here. Uh, somebody wants reconciliation and forgiveness. Uh, they regret not saying things. Someone is almost one foot out the door on to newness, on to happiness. Could be you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You have a decision to make about maybe another air sign. You're hoping and wishing for a wild partnership to move away from burden with them. You're praying about this, but you're hesitating before making decisions in this relationship while wow, the king and the queen, the diamond came up. You want success in home and marriage. Nice. Yeah, you guys have to make a decision about maybe another uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If not, don't get too hung up on the signs, but we have two counterparts here. It's a relationship. You want to move away from stagnancy. You want to move away from conflict. And it looks like it's petty conflict. Um, we do have two threes here, but it looks like you want to build with this person. If there was another person, it looks like you might even be trying to do away with that. You're going to make the decision to move away from that. Or you have made a decision to move away from that. Because you're hoping to build with Three of Diamond. Move away from conflict and drama. You're praying about this. You know. You he but you're hesitating. You're hesitating not saying what it is you really want. You better say something, Gemini. Or this person is out the door. Because the eight of, eight of hearts is here. And this could be vice versa. Say something if you want them. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Well, let's get some cards of advice. The Butterfly Oracle cards. All right. We'll do three cards of advice. Thank you for cards of advice for Gemini. Cards of advice for Gemini for March, mid-March 2018, going into April, going into spring, fun time. 
Thank you for the messages for Gemini. True. Accurate messages of advice for Gemini. Messages of advice for Gemini. Messages of advice. What the heck just happened? <laughs> Be true to you. Nice. I mean, that's self-explanatory. Grief work. We didn't have the five of hearts, I think, three times, twice, whatever. Uh, you could be a grief counselor. I'm hearing that. Um, you could help someone else with their grief. You could actually need to grieve the loss of, the loss of you fill in the blank. Self-employment, nice. Spiritual growth. Got that ace of water twice. Decisions. Yeah, new exercise program. Okay. For some of you, it, I'm just told to take that moving. Decisions. New exercise program. Moving spiritual growth, grief work, self employment. Be true to you. We did have the ace of diamond. Like I said, it could be start up a new business. Uh, be true to who you are, whatever that may be. Uh, grieve the process of loss. Normally, grief comes from uh, loss, fear. Go through the emotions. Self-employment is pretty self-explanatory. If you're thinking about self-employment, uh, it's here for you. The cards are, are backing you on that thought. Uh, make the necessary steps to to moving forward to self and moving closer to self employment, spiritual growth. That comes with first knowing self, being true to you. You have decisions to make. I think this decision around moving. And uh, decisions around letting a situation go, whatever that may be, work-related, relationship, romantic relationship, friendship, whatever. New exercise program, it is spring. Going to get that body right. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. New exercise program. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you've been thinking about it, then here it is. Like, get on it. Um, and for those who who need help, don't know where to start in that or with that, you know, due to excess uh, amount of weight, um, do seek a, a physician, um, an expert first. So you you do that correctly, um, but start it. Start somewhere. Moving. Some of you could be actually moving away from a job with the self employment. Actually moving home, moving out of a home, moving away from relationship. Like I said, decisions and grief work. Yeah, all this ties in together. Gemini, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated. Click the GoFundMe link. Fund the channel. Any donation is much appreciated. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Follow me on Instago. Ask a question or two there. Uh, I'll pull a few cards for you. and get. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I say 24 hours. Um, what else? Uh, take advantage of the $30, 30-minute readings. Um, remember, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> Jibba bye? No. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Anyway, remember, Gemini, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Thank you and take care. Um, I hope to see all of you. Well, I don't see any of you, but I hope that all of you tune in in April, okay? Take care, guys.